Hey, it's your girl Moon Goddess Kiara back at it again with another video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you some pop figures that I got from a massive pop hunt the other day. But I'm not going to bore you with the details, so without further ado, let us get into the video. So, as I was saying, I went on a massive pop punk the other day. It was my first, it was not the first day off, but I'm on vacation and I had nothing to do but time to kill. So, me and my girlfriend went out yesterday on a massive pop hunt. And, I mean, I got a ton of pops right now. Like, I got these two bags for you right here. Then I got these two bags for you right here. It was crazy. It was fun, but it was crazy. So, we're not going to take up too much time. We are just going to get into this video. I just don't know where to start. Let's. I guess we could start with the first store that I went to which is called Langley's Comics or Langley's Toys, something like that along those lines. It's a mall in Muskegon, but I don't go there often, but they have a lot of pops, a lot of vaulted pops, a lot of grills, a lot of chases, like pops that you probably can't find anywhere else. They have it there for a pretty reasonable price. Now the two pops I got from there, one is not for me, one is actually for my sister because I in a previous video, I'm not sure which video, but in a previous video, I did say that for my sister's birthday, I ended up getting her like two pops from the show Ruby. So the first one I have for you is actually is actually Ruby from the show. Cause I already got her Blake and Weiss. So now that she has Ruby, the only person she needs is Yang, and then she will have the complete set. Yeah, don't mind. It's just the sticker right there. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. But it only cost me like $11.95. Some of their pops are like $5. I think the highest one they had was like maybe 100 or something. But like I said, they have a pretty decent price for the pops. Now, I do like Ruby. I do like the show. But I'm not going to get the pops since my sister already has them. You know, I'm just not going to do it. I, I like it, but not enough to get all the pops. But this is a pretty cool pop. It has her... um. Her scythe. I actually want to take her out of the box because I didn't see the other two out of box because you know obviously I ordered them and they went straight to my sister and I don't know what she did with them. I don't know if she took them out of box, left them in box, or what the case may be. But you know, her pops, her choice. But I'm gonna take this one out. And here you can see we have Ruby with her scythe, which is also a gun. And she can turn to roses. She has the uh I don't know if you can see it, but her eyes are actually silver. Because she has the silver eyes, which is a very rare trait. But if anything, you should actually just go watch the show. I think they have eight seasons out now. I just recently finished the sixth season. I have to go and look at seven and eight. But the sixth season, so much went down. I need answers. I need freaking answers on what is about to happen. So, but me and my sister, we end up having quite a, we end up talking about it quite a bit. Like I said in the previous video, me and my sister are both really big nerds, so it is what it is. Let's just get that back in there. Alright. Now the other pop I got from there, which if you saw my last video, you know that I got one of these out of a mystery box from Child's Collectibles. And that one I had gotten Robin. So I was able to pick up the Imperial Batman. Which was kind of weird because like... <clears throat> Out of all the pops they had there, this was like the only one. It was just in a random spot with Marvel. So I'm going to assume somebody moved it. Because they might have thought about getting it, but they chose not to. I'm not sure. But now I have Batman. So the only one I need left is Joker. And if I get it, the chase for Robin. But if I get it, that's cool. If I don't, I'm not too upset about it. But yes, yeah, so I got the Imperial Batman. So like I said, all I need is a Joker. And then I have the complete set for the uh, Imperials until you know I start collecting the uh, the newer lines that they're planning on coming out with I haven't really looked too much into it but I will so the next one is FYE so they were having a sale where you well they tend to have it a lot actually for FYE where you buy two you get 175% off once again one of the pops I bought from here is not for me it's actually for my friend's mom 
who I was trying to, I was looking for it for her birthday, which was like at the beginning of this month, but I was never able to find it. It just happened that it was there. So I ended up grabbing it. But the first one I'm going to show you guys is a very old pop. No, not very old. I shouldn't say that, but it's, it's not new. And that is the 80th years Cyclops right there. Now I've just now recently started going back into collecting all of these. I not sure which one I still need to get since you know they don't have them on the the back right here but I want to say it's not Captain Marvel it's like Marvel Girl something like that I think her and one other maybe I might be missing before I have the complete set to this but yeah so I saw it I went and got it because honestly they're starting to become harder to find now so I decided to get it while I had the chance because since they're becoming harder to find, they might end up getting vaulted soon. I'm not sure. It's how it could go. Or maybe, you know, people just finally, they're just finally running out of the stock. I can't be 100% sure on that. The next one I have is not for me. Like I said, it's for my friend's mom. And it's Elvis. She is a massive, massive Elvis fan. Like, her coin purse is Elvis. Her fanny pack is Elvis. She has an Elvis hat, shirt, sweaters, all of it. Now, this is only one that I could I found there, and it's not the best of the Elvis pops out there. But since it's the only one I could find, I ended up getting it for her. So I probably since like I said I'm on vacation, I probably won't see her till <clears throat> Saturday, Sunday maybe when I actually go back to work. But as you can see on the back, they have the other different types of Elvises you can get. So you got the Jailhouse Rock. Then you have Blue Hawaii, and obviously this one right here, the comeback special. I would have liked to get her the Jailhouse Rock, but like I said, they, this is the only one that they had, so this is the one that I got for her. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. I know her son collects pops, and he has like over 300 right now, but he's never gotten her an Elvis pop, which is very weird. But then again, you know, he probably gets her other things that he knows his mom would like. So the next one that I have means I almost have the full collection and I got Kabuto from Naruto now I have all the other ones except for Pain he's been a little more difficult to find because he's more sought after which is to be understandable he's a really good character really good villain ish you know <laughs> but yeah so I was able to get Kabuto I have like I said all the rest of them except for Pain I recently just started getting back into um <clears throat> oh excuse me into collecting the Naruto Pops. I actually am starting to collect Boruto as well. Gosh, the glare is so bad. And the, the light, the sun has gone down. Because I use natural light. So the sun has gone down drastically. But still, there's a massive glare. But glad to have him in my collection. Like I said, I'm almost done with this one. Just need one more. One more. And then I'll be done with that one. And then I gotta go... And get the older ones, which, like I said, is going to be more... It's going to be difficult to find, because a lot... It's Naruto, it's anime. A lot of the pops tend to go really quickly. It's hard to find, because it's very sought after, which, you know, that's fine. I understand. So, the next pop I have, I actually got from GameStop. Now, GameStop doesn't tend to normally have a lot of the pops I want, because the ones here are so... They're so limited, and when they do get the newer ones... I don't know if it's just because it doesn't get to them or if it just sells out really quickly. I'm not sure, but I never really see anything new. But for this one, I did end up getting the Flash. Now, I know uh, cause I was going to try to get the Flash that glows in the dark that has like the massive electric base, but that was on the Funko app and or the Funko shop, my bad. And he, he sold out really, really quickly. Like it was a, uh, yeah, there was no, there was no chance of getting him after that. Like as soon as they posted it, boom. He was gone. But I'm happy to at least get this one right here. Like I said, I don't need to have the other one per se. It would be nice, but I don't need to have every single variant to a certain pop. I'm not that big into it. If I happen to get it, I get it. Like if I see it on the wild and I said I want to get it. Well, I'm not going to just... I don't need to have every variant. And I have Killer Frost. Actually, she is pre-ordered. And I'm just waiting for her to come in the mail. Which should be like the beginning of next month so I should end up getting her by or maybe a little bit after my birthday either way I'm supposed to be getting her next month 
Now, blood work, I'm probably not going to get. Godspeed, maybe. I'm still on the fence about him. But once again, I'm not... I don't necessarily have to collect every single piece to a collection. I don't do that for every... There's some collections I'm like, yeah, okay, I want to get every single one. But there's also ones I'm just like, I just need bits and pieces here and there. That's just how I am. I know a lot of people feel like they have to have the whole collection. That's completely okay. I don't have any issues with that. That's you. Go for it. As a matter of fact, if you prefer to have like the full collection or anything, leave a comment down below. If you just want to collect what you like, whether you get the full collection or not, leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm more than happy to hear. So, <clears throat> don't mind me. My voice is just the, the apartment is really dry. I got to get my humidifier going. So, my voice is going to sound really, really weird. Just, just bear with me, people. Just bear with me, okay? And the next one I have is when I went to Hot Topic. I wasn't supposed to go to Hot Topic at all. Just one of my friends happened to be working there. And I forgot. I asked her about. I forgot. I know actually. I know Papa asked her about. I'm going to show you guys after this one. And then I just happened to see this one there when I went. And it was the Red Wing Robin. Now I was very surprised to see that there. I just, you know, I think it was. I think it was the only one they had in there when I went so naturally I picked it up because I do love Batman it's my top favorite DC comic then comes the flash the rest of them yeah whatever but I am more so of a Marvel fan but I can appreciate DC as well you know what I'm saying but so I know he originally came out 2018 2019 but this one right here says it came out in 2020. So, obviously it's more than likely a restock. Because like I said, the, when it first came out, I'm pretty sure it was 2019. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm pretty sure. But if I'm wrong, I would like to be corrected. So just let me know in the comment section below when it actually did come out. Now the last one, I completely forgot that they were making... Well, I didn't forget they were making this pop. <clears throat> But I completely forgot that it was coming out the day that it did. And they had quite a few. So, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were able to get the pops. But I was able to get. Oh, my God. It was just. This, I, like, I didn't even know they had it, like I said. Until my friend just responded, like, do you like so-and-so character? Because we just got him in. And that is Static Shock. So, I went there. Because she's like, we have a cup, we have a handful left if you want to get it. I was like, bet, I'm on my way. I'm going to be like, <clears throat> I was probably like 15, 20 minutes out because I was out eating. I was out having lunch. But I was like, bet, I'm about to be on my way. So, don't worry. But yes, I was able to get the Static Shock. And he looks pretty freaking phenomenal in box. And it was, fun it was funny to me because I got what, him, Flash... And Batman, that's the most DC pops I've gotten in one day in a very long time. I think the last time I did it was when I was collecting the, um, you know, the Joker and the Catwoman, everything from like the 1989, 1990 Batman. <clears throat> and, and when I went to get the, uh, you know, Sylvester as Batman and everything like that and like Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman that was the last time I actually did a massive DC hunt but we're gonna take a static shock out the box now I never really got into the comics I'm not gonna lie I do like comics I haven't read them in many many years but I do remember the cartoon I did watch the cartoon quite faithfully and I love the cartoon so here we go we have static shock right there right there Look, that's just, that's awesome. Look at that detail. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. And the bass from when he's like riding the board and everything. Ah. Oh. Like I said, I completely forgot they had, where they were getting it. <clears throat> when she let me know, I was like, I gotta get it. It has to be done. But this is a freaking awesome pop. I am so happy. So, so happy to have it in my collection right now. And he's, there's a good chance he's gonna be out of box pop. The only downside right now is that I have more pops than I have room for. So I kind of got to figure everything out. Got to feng shui my pops around, you know. See what I'm going to do. 
probably gonna end up having to buy more uh what is it, bookshelves you know which is fine i can do that too it's not gonna be too big of a problem but yeah but those are all the pops that i got from like i said my pop punk the other day i wasn't planning on getting this many pops i wasn't planning on spending this much money on pops but it's been a while since i've done it so and plus i was on vacation i felt like i just needed to treat myself you know first time having vacation in what two years yeah i kind of just i kind of just needed it. okay come on close for me no we don't want to okay that's gonna irritate me there we go all right wow static shock just didn't want to go back in the box but yeah but like i said that's all the pops that i were able to that i was able to get the other day and i'm happy that you guys were here to share it with me i'm happy i was able to share it with you let me know down below what pop you liked like what's your favorite pop do you have the static shock pop and if not, do you plan to get it? Like, are you a big Static Shock fan or not? Just let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, just I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a good day. Peace.